Welcome in, everybody. It's another episode of the DNVR Rapids podcast. We are presented, of course, by DraftKings Sportsbook, America's number one sportsbook. Download the app. Use promo code DNVR when you sign up. Guys, it is a overcast, chilly, kind of wet, beautiful sports day, baby. It is rowdy down The bar is popping. It is March Madness. But here's the thing over here. It might be March Sadness. And we'll get into that here in a second. But first, I got to introduce the homies. As always, in the chair, not behind the ones and twos. It's super analyst, Yaya. How many times did I say I'm super Yaya? <laughs> Fine revolution, Yaya. I'm just always going to call you super analyst. Yeah. I'll have to correct you every time. Super I'm super it's a bit at this point. I don't it's know. It's a bit. We love bits here. Yeah, we love bits. <laughs> We're a bit show. Uh, <laughs> We're a bit show, for sure. <laughs> DMVR rap bits. Bits. Yeah. Um, I mean, the <laughs> rapids might be a bit right now, too. They're doing this bit. Are we ever going to score? <laughs> Next to me on the couch, our guy, downtown Dwayne Brown. Hello. Happy biggest sports day in America, everyone. It's the best sports day. It is huge. I love it. I'm having so much fun. I don't know anything about basketball. The bar I is enjoy l- it. The bar is loud. There are people having fun. There's Bud Light Towers down there. The Bud people, Light Towers are back. People are also drunk. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 going down for real. It is rowdy. Um, guys, we got a fun show for you today. We are obviously going to look ahead, and we're going to check out the uh, Minnesota match this weekend. We got a draft for you coming at the end. Maybe we can break this unlucky curse that the Rapids have been facing recently. But first, I think it's time to talk about ch 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 changes You know what I want to see changed? What? The like count. Go like the video right now if you're watching. Whoa, <laughs> that's a really a like. good call. Yeah, hit us with those likes while you're hanging out. Jump in the comments. <laughs> Let's talk out some pids. Um, rough start, <laughs> to put it mildly. Uh, 4-0, 0-0, 1-0, one point, and... Three matches. Three matches. You have a freezing cold home game. You had no price except for a few minutes. You still have yet to see Diego Rubio. Uh... I'm not necessarily hitting the panic button because I don't know how much better it can get, but I do think it's time to see some changes. Dwayne, now, if you are looking at this team, and this can be conceptual, this can be positionally, this can be formationally, this can be player to player, what is your first change you can go for? It can for? even be emotionally. Wow. There's so many options. It's a lot of options. Me. Um well, I would say the scoreboard in the stadium, <laughs> but I'm going to go with the winger situation is still something that uh, I want to see continue to be tooled around with. Um, mm-hmm. I know that it's probably injury and recovery, um, and I am certainly not a doctor, so I don't I don't know. But I I just really want to see more Galvan on the on the field on the pitch, and uh, that's that's my main change right now is just. I I know we want to see goals. Um, I'm fine with the Appy where he is, but it's the wingers that are causing concern for me. So I think that's a. I mean, I think that's a logical place to start. Yeah, it's, um, uh, there's that's not a hot take. Nicholson and Barrios being your opening wingers, I don't think anyone had on their bingo card, right? I mean. I certainly didn't. No, Nicholson. <laughs> I mean, we're like, like no, they're going to be great change of pace guys in the 70th minute. And but they're the people yeah. that they're taking out in the 70th minute. It's a lot of Nicholson. It's a lot of Barrios. I do enjoy. Um, they each. I think they've each had a good game. Sure. Not good seasons. Good games. <clears throat> they have been better than expected. But I don't think good enough to match team expectations. Of course not. But like Barrios had a good game against S- SKC. Yeah. Like he was he might have been the player of the game that day. Yeah, he, he was pesky. Really, yes, exactly. Yeah. Nicholson was pesky against San Jose. I really like Nicholson yeah. so far this year actually. So, exactly. Like um, they're, not, they're not the high le- they're not MLS starter talent right now in my nope. opinion. Nope. I love nope. them. Great guys. But I think that you need a little bit extra on those wingers and Dwayne's right like you might be time to change. But like for me, I don't see big changes if, if you're talking about it's time for someone from injury to come in and that's the change you want to see, seeing it in a game that where it's 30 degrees like it will be, yeah, I, it's not it's the time probably to not gonna You're not going to yeah. see it. And that's what's really frustrating is because I want to see Lewis go 60 or 70 opposite Cabral, right? I want to see Galvan go 60 or 70 opposite Lewis or Cabral, right? I want to see that, and I want to see it soon. 
And if someone's coming off of injury, you're not going to play in conditions like this. Even if it's not snowy, it's just cold. You're not going to be able to keep and stay warm unless you're in that midfield running back and forth. Um, and I just don't see them risking an injury on someone like that. I, I don't want to say I wish they would. Well, <laughs> kind of wish they would. I don't want to say it. Could. But I'm I could wish is could. the word. No, yeah, I wish they the would. Word. I think Correct. I'm gonna. Get, I'm, I'm sticking with my. <laughs> right, right. Um, even if it's just like slub them out at halftime, kind of what we saw with Price last year. You know, after he came back from injury, they played him the first half and then second half he came out. Um, I want to see more di- a lot more dyna- uh, dynamics on the wingers. Like you said, oh yeah, it hurts not. Because you're out here seeing all these great players play for other teams, and you know the Rapids have these players, and they just haven't produced anything. And I'm starting to think maybe Cabral shouldn't be starting. Maybe it should be Lewis and Gavon. Sure. Like, I mean, that's what I want to see most of any lineup. I want to see that. Yeah, like maybe that's the way Actually, to go no. with Ruby at the 10. Actually, I have, a different, I have a different one that I really want to see. Which one? Are you guys right? Are we good on winger talk? Can I bring up yeah, a different yeah. change? What are your changes? Let's Again, go. Let's this is do a fluid it. program. I have one change. I know what your change is. Go tell me now. It's one change I've seen. Um, actually, of all people, it was Mark Harrow who was listening late who brought it up on Twitter recently. Um, shout out to Mark for listening to a Loser's Lounge days later. Um, <laughs> crazy. There's nothing else you can do at that point. <laughs> uh, so I dope. am. I want to put Galvan in the Cole Bassett role, and I want Bassett to watch a game from the bench. That's fair. And then I was, put Cabral I was and sort Lewis. of right in what I thought you were going to say. I didn't think it would be Galvan, but well, I knew Rubio it would be a Bassett top. switch. Yeah. You want Rubio up top? Yeah, I do. I, I yeah, he has been finishing. Let him also take a break. I think there's two. I think he's two in his head. He's just missing all these goals and just missing all these chances. The longer he goes without it, it's going to be tough, especially if it's 90, 90, 90, yeah. 90, 90. Um, but obviously Rubio coming off injury, he's not going to start. It's going to be happy. But I think ideal world, it's time for Cole Bassett to either step up this game right now Make an impact, or you need to hit the bench. Period. What if I told you you put Jonathan Lewis up there instead of Rubio? In the 10 spot? No, no. Oh, the striker. Up top. Ooh, nice. he's so fast. I like it. J-Lu. I yeah, love J-Lu. Strike. Okay. He's played striker before. Okay. Yeah, like, he's, he's done it before. I think he's a... Uh, I want a chip goal so I bad think for me. <laughs> I, I actually think... The one I, thing- I just <laughs> like that our changes are basically just blow it up. Yep. <laughs> Yo, Throw you know it out the window, baby! <laughs> you know what, man? When you got one point in three matches, <laughs> it's time to go kaboom. Kaboom! TNT, here we go. Tick, tick, boom! But again, J. Lou makes the runs that you would want from the nine. That sometimes you don't see, uh, like sure. Cabral do. You didn't see Cabral doing last game. You didn't see sometimes Yappy doing it. And it might be just because Yappy's also tired. Like, he's played 90, 90 minutes each game. Like, maybe he's still a young kid. He's not fully conditioned yet. Yeah. But. That's the thing I, I really would enjoy seeing. Having uh, Govon play that Cole Bassett role, but how B-Ray just said, it looks like he's questionable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I didn't. It's if hard. anything, you might see 10 to 20, you know, off the bench there. Yeah. Um, but I think it's going to be a really similar lineup. I bet you even Price gets held back, right? He only played, what, 15, a little over 15 Yeah. in that game. Hey, fun um, fact. Okay, fun fact. Let's go. Is it actually fun or is it sad? Fun I know it's fun. It's fun fact of the day. Um, <laughs> with the little bit of minutes that Price got to play last week, he crossed the ten thousand minute mark for the Whoa. Rapids. Clap it up for my guy. So, flowers, flowers. Way to go, Jack. Give him flowers to Pricey so, boy. So we got Price and Rosenberry over the ten thousand minute mark this season already. Your room, cool. yeah. We're going to change your name to Advanced Statistics Dwayne. Advanced Stats Dwayne. Stat Town Dwayne Brown? Boy, Dwayne you guys Brown. are yeah. going to be sorely disappointed if that's my <laughs> role. How many goals? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Got your stat um, of the day. <laughs> uh, five out of five. You know what I wouldn't change? I wouldn't change much of the defense. I don't know. I, it's been good. I mean, the Seattle Maybe. game was not yeah, good. Yeah. Again, it was one. A must, personal mistakes. It wasn't a full mistake. Yeah, I think they've been great these last Seattle, few games. Uh, I have yeah. nothing to. I, I have no complaints. Oh, I, maybe I do have complaints, but when it's you when you put bottom. them in a list, they're pretty far from the yeah. priority. Seattle seems very fluky after the last two matches. I don't know, man. Cincinnati's defense. really good. So, Cincinnati's really good. Well, I'm good. just saying, looking at them the last two games versus that first one, that Seattle match just seems very fluky to me. 
Like, I don't think we're going to be that bad. Like, I don't think so either. Also, I think we've kind of shored up a lot of those individual mistakes, at least for two games. Also, uh, Seattle played in a, in a real competition in the Club World Cup. So they came in a little bit more knowing Way themselves more informed. Oh, yeah. than the Rapids because all they played was preseason. Like, and even though that's for you to get accustomed, it's not the same as playing real competition and yeah. other team full force. So fluky. So, yeah, it might be fluky. Yeah. Like, yeah, you might be right. I still believe in Seattle, especially with no CONCACAF Champions League this year. Yeah. I think that helps them out quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, no, you're right. So they don't have to rotate but as I much. I don't like them. Nobody <laughs> likes Seattle. If you like Seattle, you're a fake person. Uh, <laughs> you don't exist. Or that's you're what from I want to see changed. Fake fine. people in Seattle. <laughs> um, okay, so what about formationally? You think everything's good? You need changes in formation? I think I like the formation. I like the tactics. You like the 4-3-3? I like the 4-3-3. I even like the 5-4, five, uh, the 5-4. Five, 5-3-2. Five, whatever two. they played last week. 3-1-2. 3-2-3-1-2. Three, three, one, one, three, one, whatever it's. 3-2-2-2-1. 1-1-1-0-1-1-0-0-1. The That's binary code. That's just binary code. The 1-1-8 that Chelsea should play with all their attackers. But the thing is, like, I... <laughs> I, I'm not. I don't even like the back five. I've been very against the back sure. five. I've never liked the back. I five. I kind of liked it though. Well, but why? again, and that's what I'm like. I liked they, it. When yeah. even when they choose, I'm like, I'm okay with it because Wallace I feel like, Wilson Maxu like looked pretty good. Yeah, and it, it should have been Bombita, but unfortunately, Bombita. We'll get there. We'll but get there. I love. I do love what uh, the defense has done for the team lately. Um, and my thing is, if I'm gonna change anything tactically. I think it would be the way they attack. It yeah. would be what they do in the final third. You know what? Stop. Start getting crosses in there if you want to play through your wing. Stop trying to build up from the wings. If you're going to play there, try to go all the way up and get it into the box. You got a yeah. big guy in there with Yappy. Yeah, See if totally. you can get something. That SKC, that's what was working. That's where all your shots came from. And then you kind of strayed away from it. Also, my other tactic would be just shoot the damn ball. Just shoot it. Let it like, go. Screw Let it. it you go. might get a rebound. Screw it. Like the goalie might move. It, you like it might get a deflection. Just start shooting the ball like crazy. It might help. And I think that's something the Rapids severely lack. Shooting the ball. If they just get the shot off, that'd be great. But again, that wouldn't be my main change. What would be your main change? Uh, the badge. Change the damn badge. What? I'm going, I'm, oh man, man you're if going you're gonna like lose, logo. Lose style. Change the, do a whole damn rebrand. I was not expecting yeah. rebrand. Do a whole damn rebrand, Rapids. This is another Yaya classic. This <laughs> is the pod to talk is about. Rapids have only got one point, but you know what you need? You don't need better players. You need a damn rebrand. I don't know if that's <laughs> going to put the ball in the net. <laughs> we don't care if you put the ball in the net. At least look good doing it. The rebrand I need is. Goals. <laughs> Again, I'm playing. I'm completely playing. The, all, the main change I would, I, the main change I would actually make is got, put, if Jay Lou's healthy, put Jay Lou up top. Make him so, into the striker. Wingers, let's change. Maybe strikers. Iffy on defense. Rebrand. <laughs> Dude, that, what else? Also change the exporting good sparks to downtown while we're at it. If we're just making all these damn changes, just do it all at once. Oh, wow. <laughs> And again, that's I don't, crazy. Bro. And B Ray saying uh, both left backs are questionable. I think Gersh was pretty good. I like Gersh. Yeah, I thought he played pretty well. Markinich is like, yeah, he's getting there. He'll get there eventually. Um, if he stays with the Rapids, but I I went to practice Tuesday and I like I saw I liked what I saw from from uh, Markinich. I thought Markinich was really good. Look, he was I, competing with like first teamers. Uh, look, Markinich won big start last year. Right, he looked good in Minnesota in the U.S. Open Cup game, and then he started the next week against. Was it Nashville? It might have been Nashville, the one that he looked good in two games, and then it fell off pretty quick. So maybe that same magic is there, where it's like guys are banged up, it's cold. Let's throw let's throw Markanik in there as a start, and see what happens, and maybe that looks good. I don't know. Some uh, how somebody explained it to me in um, in organization was. He's too good for Rapids, too. Yes. But he's not good enough for the MLS yet. Right. And so you need to either get him to a U.S. championship side that's good. Exactly. Right? Or just kind of take your licks as he learns. And maybe that's the best move with him. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think he needs to put on some – I think he needs to hit the, hit the weights a little bit. He's a little yeah. tiny, you know? So Slight. He's tall. He he's is just, tall. He's just not built. Yeah. Which is what you need on the left back, especially playing defense. You need somebody that can body guys. Yeah. Because you're going to have who, who they play Minnesota this week. I don't even know who the 
Oh, Minnesota? they don't got Reynoso after Reynoso. Yeah, no Reynoso, so who cares, Yeah, like, honestly. But, like, you do have to be a little bit stronger against those wingers, especially, like, the Shufflebergs out there in uh, yeah. Nashville who are fast and um, really strong. You know what I mean? So, yeah. again, I love, I like, I appreciate Markinich. You also have Beta Shore back there. I, th- I think Beta has been really, really good. Uh, he's been, a, like, a stabilizing force. Oh, yeah. And you can tell that like, his presence really helps out the defense. For sure. So, but my main change again would be the strike position. I love Yappy, but you're right. I didn't even think about it that way. He's in his own head at this point. Yeah, you just got to give him a break. Yep. Yeah, and it's maybe is like bench some of these guys that like are good guys. Like I'm not. When we Cole's talk a about, great player. Yeah, when we talk about Cole, it's, we get frustrated because we know what he's capable of. We've seen it before. When we talk about Yappy, it's not that he's not a great player. He can be a great player. It's that we're frustrated because we know what he can be and who he has been. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, Same for thing sure. With Cabral. You've seen it from Cabral. He's shown the flashes. He just needs to show the dog. Exactly. And that's all we He's care missing about. He's some dog. And maybe, like, taking a game off and just being able to sit and look at the game from a different perspective would really help these guys out. I think Cabral has very low XD. XD? Expected dog. Oh, Expected good. Very dog. I, I thought I was expecting <laughs> something else. No. Nah. <laughs> He's French. But, uh, <laughs> we, uh, don't, we love you French people. <laughs> Uh, shout out, Flo, if you're, if you're listening. Bonjour. Um, There's all my French for the day. Guys, any other changes you would make today? Um, changes I'd make today. The scoreboard. Yeah, obviously. I know what I would change right now. That's my big one. I'm wearing these. You know how bright it is in here? It's pretty bright. I wish I had my shady rays. That's what I wish. Shady rays are <laughs> That's dope. a change I would make right now. Be, Instead of not wearing my Shady Rays, I would be wearing my Shady Rays. That's a good change. The future is so bright. You can kick off a new year with new gear built to last. Our friends at Shady Rays have you covered from the sun to the slopes with premium polarized shades, customizable snow goggles, and so much more. Shady Rays is an independent sunglasses company that offers a world-class product that's just as good as any expensive pair we've ever worn. Durable frames, extremely clear optics for outdoor adventures. I am like as picky as anybody with sunglasses. I have a very wide, I always have to buy the XL ones, the wide frame ones, and they're never comfortable. These Shady Rays are mad comfortable. They're super um, comfortable. They're awesome. Uh, they also also offer the most insane protection in all of eyewear. Every pair of sunglasses is backed by lost and broken replacements. If you lose or break your pair, even on day one, they told us they will send you a brand new pair. No questions asked. Wear your Shady Rays with confidence because they have your back long after you purchase. And if you don't love them, exchange them for a new one or return them for free within 30 days. No risk when you shop with Shady Rays. Their team always has your back. Exclusively for our listeners. Shady Rays is going to be giving out the best deal of the new year. You can visit them in store or go online, shadyrays.com. The store's down at Park Meadows Mall. You can use the code DNVR and you get 50% off two or more pairs. Try for yourself the shades rated five rapids by over 200,000. People. I think it's made by five. two people on this couch. <laughs> <laughs> 200,000 people. Shout out to the homies at Shady Rays. And after you have your Shady Rays, go sign up for the Nuggets fan giveaway experience. Yeah. Of the it's dope. Breckenbridge Brewery and DNVR have teamed up to give some lucky DNVR fans the ultimate game day experience. VIB tickets, Lexus Club access, parking. That's the one that really got me. And DNVR merge. Merch from Mitch is the new Merch from way Merchel. to say it, dude. Like, that is a great giveaway. You get to stay courtside when the Nuggets play the Pelicans. You might get Zion. You get Brandon Ingram. It's going to be so CJ much fun. CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum. Jonas Valanciunas looking like a Viking. Jonas Valanciunas. Dude, you can smell Jonas Valanciunas. But he smells ever- like a wolf. Exactly. Have you ever wondered what Jonas Valanciunas smells <laughs> I don't know like? Who that is. Now you've got that chance, man. <laughs> so the way you sign up is we have a QR a code on the screen. Want, you can just click what? the QR code and you to can get there. Dude. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, you can also uh, we have links down below on the pod, on the pod and on the YouTube link, and it's and you can just sign up. You just have to be 21 or over, and it's going to be very easy. We'll do the sure. giveaway about. Ah. We'll announce the winner about a week before the sure. game. Sure. So you sign up before your time is over. It should be coming real quick, guys. So go do that right now, please. Please, please, please sign up. If it's you want to go, you get the fit on. You get. It's gonna be awesome. You should. Def- this is one of the best giveaways we have ever done. You get great seats, swag. Do it. Check it out. Please do it. 
Like, also, B Ray, get the hell out of here with take changing Frazier. I think Frazier's been awesome. Yeah, dude, Frazier's working all with things what he considered. Found. Yeah, like all things considered, he's not perfect. I, I shouldn't say just blanket. He's been awesome. I think given injuries, given what, what he's working with, like what he is yeah. working with, I think he's been pretty good. Yeah, um, again, and he's maybe not he's perfect. meaning reward him with a vacation for a week off. Yeah, that's, what yeah. Ray's saying. that's not a reward. <laughs> that's not, that is a punishment. <laughs> Staying away from the pits is impossible. <laughs> not getting pitted is impossible. <laughs> um, no, B Ray, get the hell out of here. I don't care if it's for a week. B Ray, um, I will fight you after the show. No, <laughs> Maybe no. At the shout DMVR out to our right guy. now. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, let's talk Minnesota, you guys. Right, Minnesota, Minnesota, because it will be cold. Um, and they just played a snow game too last week. They did just play a snow they game. Did. Got the but they have orange. no Reynoso. <clears throat> Reyno, no, because he's suspended. Yeah, he's also he's also just a stupid guy. Look, I think there's, I think it's, I think a lot of times we need to dig in, right? Like we need to really dig in and and find these little things here and there. Preview for this is very simple. Score. <laughs> yeah. Reynoso's out. Defense needs to do its job. You need to score a goal. I'll be completely honest. I try to watch as much MLS as I can. Minnesota has not been one of my teams that I even try to like. I don't think I've seen much of, except highlights. I don't know anything about Minnesota this year. Like, I just don't. I wish I could tell you, like, this X player does great. Like, I don't know anything about them. All I can say is, like, what the Rapids can do. And that's really attack the wingers, <laughs> take advantage of the cold. And how Mitch said, the defense. Defense has to be good. Defense has to be really good. Like, Well, they got to win at Dallas to open the season. So that's an impressive win. Yep. Uh, Dallas is good. Um, you know, and followed that up with, um, I think they drew against New York. Yeah, Red Bulls. Yeah. So, I mean, they've got some points on the board. The Again, like... Reynosa is really the story yeah. <laughs> of Minnesota. The the one thing I will say is interesting about this matchup is that Minnesota is not known for completing passes. They're very bad at that. It's one of those um, things you need in a soccer game. And uh, the Rapids also have some trouble, certainly in the last match, with those weird, slow, long passes that keep getting picked. Yeah. They also don't want the ball. I mean, we're definitely a transition and a, and a counter team. We're not a possession-based team. So being not a possession-based team versus a team that's not very good at passing is a weird match to me. And so I wonder if you should be look interesting at that to watch. And maybe, maybe you do roll out a more possession-based sound, pass-it-around type lineup, right? And maybe. they can do that like they did against SKC. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Acosta... I think you get Acosta again, right? Like, yeah. Um, but being a counter in a transition team versus a team that's not great at completing passes is, is not a bad thing. Sure, sure, you know? sure. Cer- certainly plays into that as right, well. Right, but if so. you're starting Sam and Mikey, those are your two slowest counter options. Yeah. Fair. But again, <laughs> like I, I kind of have a different opinion because the only time I've seen him counter was against um, San Jose and it didn't work out. They I still think that they, needs to be. The, I mean, that, that's your best chance with Yappy up top and the speed you have outside. That is your best shot. I really like what they did, did against SKC. I thought that was their, that's been their best game so far. Yeah. And they really held the ball there. You look at the possession numbers; they were high yeah, percentage. Like they were. And that, so, like I think it might be a possession thing. Try to see if you can work the defense. But the thing is, once you work the defense, you gotta attack and take advantage of the little mistakes the defense gives you. And if you don't then you're just going to end up with a 0-0 draw again. It's a good time to be a possession team because we're at home. If we can run them around, get them tired at elevation, then bring on those late speedster <laughs> subs, uh, then maybe that works out for us. So I I prefer possession game. Like The Rapids have never really been that. Yeah, <laughs> but that's them. that's my style. Like if, you know, if I had to choose, like that's what I would rather see. Um you know, especially at elevation, if that means changing it later on in the game to use the elevation to our advantage and then become more of a, you or know, aggressive. counter, you know, and send yeah. it down the wings and use our, our speed to get down. That's cool. But, you know, 
I, I would love to see a possession game again, like and we it, saw against Kansas City. To me, it's tough. Um, they've only scored two goals. Yeah. Right? They've only played yeah, two games, yeah. but they've also only scored two goals. Right? They've given up one. Yeah, they're not putting right? up. It's not like they have been world beaters by any stretch. Two more than the Rapids, though. But my point <laughs> is, my point is, I don't feel like there needs to be this desperation Mm-mm. of, oh my God, we have to score. I think it's. I think this is a very, very winnable game for the Rapids. Oh, definitely. And that is knowing full well, full well. I'm sure the comments will tell me otherwise. I know full well how bad it's been, how much the offense has struggled, how much at times the defense has struggled. This is as winnable of a game as you can ask for right now. Yeah, it, it really is. And be ran the comments again. I'm going to fight you. You say, say, Dane St. Clair, where's our attack? Ooh, scary. Dane he St. gave Clair's, up four last time he was yeah, here. Exactly. St. Clair like, is he has not a, a... Something about Colorado really gets to that uh, to him. I don't know why, what it is. But, again, I'm hoping for like a 1-0 win. Maybe a, a 2-0 win. Like, that's my I hope. I think you have to hope to draw or win one nothing. No, you can't hope to draw anymore. You got one damn point. You need more at this point. You need to start. I think it's really, it sucks that we don't know what the lineup looks like. It doesn't. Like, I'm going to practice tomorrow. I'll have a pretty good idea of who's starting and who's yeah. not. But that's tomorrow, and that's not during the show. Also, yeah. But I'm, that changes what I expect, depending on who is out and who's fit and who's not. Maybe I am begging for a draw. Yeah, and also Rubio seems to kind of be practicing again. We don't know if he'll be available for the game, but he is back to um, practicing, kind of getting everything going. So I'm all for it, dude. I think I I'm hoping that there'll be better. And again, Mitch might be right. Like it's maybe it, it maybe is a draw, but it's how you draw. What sure. if it's an OO draw and you dominate? And you feel a little better, it still stings? No. But I think if you draw, you have to at least score a goal. A 0 <laughs> 0 draw, the fans are going to storm the field. Oh, no, man. It, yeah, you might be right, but. Might. Dude, they are going to lose their mind if that happens. A 0 0 draw? Yes. They're one, of, they're one of three teams that still hasn't scored at all. Yeah, which is actually a record. Really? Three teams have not gone this far into a season without a goal. Wow. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, Dwayne, how much? Okay, you have been the longest in terms of going to every game and attending games. I don't know. I think Yaya went to a mile. Or was that Dre? I don't no, know. I mean, he's been to games, but you've been to the yeah, most games over an extended period of time. Sure, sure. What are you. How fresh. I, you know, I kind of said that as a blanket statement, but what happens if it is a 0 0 draw? for you nothing like it's it's not gonna yes I, I i don't like that we're not scoring goals but it's 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 still early in the season and i know everybody on twitter wants to burn the entire stadium down and sell the team and blow it all up but i just i'm, I'm not at that point there's still a whole lot of games there's what 31 games left um, 31 too many of you. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think we're, um, I don't think that we're in the panic state that a lot of people feel like, I don't know. I, social media is what it is. You get on Twitter, you don't have to like really counter your point to someone's face. And so everybody just wants to scream and yell about everything. And maybe that makes them feel better. And that's certainly one way to cope with it. It would be two from twelve, Cody. I'm just I'm not down with a zero zero draw. It's still a point. Yes, I want to see us win, um, but it, it's just it's too early for me to be in burn it all down mode. It's yeah. just way too early in the me season too. for that. Also, like I'm thinking what Dwayne uh, what Mitch said. If they don't score, I might actually riot. Bro, I'll that be the is only the one riot downtown. Like There's just one the thing <laughs> on the checklist. One person there is riot. One <laughs> thing on the checklist. It is score a effing goal. I think that, and I and Dwayne keeps playing this to us too. Once they score a goal, the floodgates will open. Maybe not like oh four oh three oh, but like there'll be more scoring chances. They'll actually get goals. And I kind of agree with that. Maybe all they need is just a little confidence boost. Once I, they get I one, think they scoring might get that goal, three, I four, think five. that monkey's off your back more. and things are going to be way more relaxed. For and me, it's, it's early, too. What do you mean? Oh, like, early yes, goal? Yes, relaxed, early but goal. it needs to be an early goal. Oh, for sure. 
Yeah. And again, as lo- I'm okay with a draw if it's like a one-one draw. I think an, a yeah. nil-nil draw might actually sting a little bit more because you still don't have the goal. But again, how doing said, I'm not gonna riot. I'm not gonna. Yeah, yell. I think a one-one draw, people would be way happier than a zero-zero. I want to see them play with sure. the lead. I want them to score before the thirtieth minute. I want to see them score before. Th- you know what happens in the thirtieth minute? Do you know what's significant about the thirtieth minute in this game? I'll no. let you say it. That is 300 minutes into the season. Ah. And it is zero goals. Right now, your expected goals are infinitely zero. No right? matter what. No, if you never score. Goals per 90 is dead zero. But 300, if you get one, right? Yeah. You're at 0. 0.3 goals per 100 minutes. That's insane. Like, we, like, score early, ride it out, grind it out. If you give up a, if you give up a tying goal... That's fine. The offense has to find itself. And at this point, we've beat it into the ground in terms of of the changes to make, what we're missing, what needs to happen for it to click. Yeah. And at this point, it comes down to players just need to quit pointing fingers at each other when something doesn't go correctly. They need to stop whining, stop being out of position, and go do your job and put a freaking goal in the back of the net. Yeah, and again, Grant, we're saying that score a goal is really good if they draw. Or a win. A goal in the loss is still going to hurt really bad. Yeah. Especially at home against Minnesota. Yeah. That, that one's going to hurt. Even though they might be pesky, you're, you still might be better than them. Yeah. And you got to show that you might be better than them. And that's not okay to lose 1-3, one, 1-2. One, you shouldn't lose. It should be at least a 1-1, one, 2-2 one, two, two draw or a win. No matter how you get the win. It could be a 4-3 win and I'd be happy. Are you going to... Are you... I know we're always optimistic here. We're an optimistic group. Are you picking a win? Let's talk about it at the end of the show. All right. <laughs> I'm going to wait to see where we're going with also, that before I answer. Right. Fine. No, 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 no. no. Really That's quick. Fine. That's fine. That's really fine. quick. Before, before like we do it, on that. I want to say happy birthday to our guy, Dwayne, on Saturday. Oh, yeah. Dwayne! It's Dwayne's birthday. That, that was going to be my good news. He's twenty one. He's gonna be twenty one. Can finally <laughs> have a beer. beer. Let's go. Burr, 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 burr. I, uh, it's just I'm unfortunate not gonna... that it comes after St. Patrick's Day, so he won't be able <laughs> yeah, to drink my, tomorrow. My birthday has always been all of my friends are hungover day. So <laughs> that's uh, that's my birthday. But um, uh, here, the good news is this. So my birthday gift to you all um, <laughs> is it. that I'm not going to the match because. Uh, my darling wife is is going to take me out and we're going to go have some fun do some stuff downtown and and goof off but because i won't be there the chances that we score like 10 goals are really high (laughs) so because i'm going to miss it so it's probably the best thing i can do for the squad right now the change Mm -hmm. that maybe the real change that we need is for me not to be there so that they score goals and then I'm sad because I missed it. I did see the DraftKings uh, odds went from uh, Rapids over two and a half goals minus 200. I mean, plus 200 to minus 200 after Dwayne announced he wasn't going. That's true. That's so. true. Get those bets in. I love a good goof off. <laughs> Which is is there anything off? like a good goof off? A goal. <laughs> All right. Second goes Bad. goal. Goofing off. <laughs> Um, all right, we have a little fun. We have a little game to play. We're tired of being sad and negative, so that's probably all the game talk we're actually going to have here. Um, we're going to play a fun game here in one second, but first we're going to talk about the homies at Illegal Pete's, where I've eaten twice already this week, I think. Wow. At least. We had a big old fun group out in there last week with the homies. There was probably about 15, 20 of us. Super mm-hmm. producer Kale was there with us. D- downtown Dwayne Brown was there with us. I was right there. Dwayneth Browneth. Dwayneth Browneth, correct. Uh, is this his full name? That's my um, official name. It was a great time. Um, and <laughs> this episode of DNVR Rapids is brought to you by Illegal Pete's. This March, donate by drinking. I cannot tell you there has never been a more fun way to donate money to a good cause. It is as easy as drinking. Illegal Pete's is teaming up with Tito's Vodka and Denver's Youth on Record program to help raise money for the future musicians of Colorado 
Youth on Record provides underprivileged children in Denver community with music-based strengths and skills that will give them the platform they need to accomplish their dreams. For the entire month of March, Illegal Pete's will be donating $1 to Youth on Record for every vodka fresh press sold. Stop by one of Illegal Pete's 10 Colorado locations, order a Tito's fresh press, and know that your money is going to support Colorado's next big star. Illegal Pete's is your go-to spot for burritos, buddies, and beer. Vodka for the kids, everybody. Vodka for the children. Not Don't give children vodka. Drink vodka for the children. Vodka for the kids. Drinking for kids. All the kids. It sounds like an intro book. Like Drinking for kids. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ten ways to get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> um... Just like uh, you at a high school house party back in the day, it's drinking. It's vodka for kids. Also, um, before we go any further, <laughs> give us a like if you're listening, please. I'm oh, gonna yeah. badger you to give me likes. Yeah, we need likes. Um, it, uh, the likes we get on these videos is connected to my self esteem. So the lower the like, the lower my self esteem. Dude, Buffs got 1,200 the other day. Broncos broke the record to 2,500. It's insane. There you go. I saw one. Big things are happening. <laughs> cool. <laughs> People are uh, really- tip of the week. Pretty it simple one here, guys. It's tip of the week. Two words. They're both pretty long words. Breakfast. Quesadilla. Mm. I really wish there were better words because you set it up perfectly. And breakfast quesadilla is just super long. I know, but God, it's yeah. it's so good. It's so good. It is. I've made countless. They're so great. Um, so, yeah. Go get one. Go to Illegal Pete's. Drink for the kids. All <laughs> right. Uh, does anyone else want to set this up? You guys you guys were adamant on this, and not, not in a bad way. Like You guys had a very clear direction with this. And yeah. maybe as longer, as more involved in the long term with the Rapids than myself, maybe you guys can sort of set this up a little bit more. You so, know, my thing was... It feels like for the last year, year and a half, the Rapids have been really unlucky, right? Oh, Very. God, yeah. Like, and but doesn't it go back farther than that? What do I you mean, th- last year was really kind of the recent pinnacle of yeah. unluckiness. Sure. And I wanted to keep it recent, something that we all knew, something we understood. Yeah. But we've all noticed that the Rapids have had a lot of bad bounces. Some might say, make your own luck. Others say, kidnap a leprechaun and get, let, me, let him give you your gold. Make him give him his clothes. You know? so I say you we go do. with the leprechaun route because making your own luck seems very hard. Yeah, and making your own luck is bullshit. So, <laughs> I'm Wayne, unless you have talismans or some kind of lucky charms of some sort. Because Dwayne then- had the brilliant idea that <laughs> let's uncurse the rapids. We're going to uncurse bring the rapids. The luck to the rapids. So, we decided each to draft the luck. three lucky charms. In three round snake drafts. Yeah. And that's how we're going to uncurse the Rapids by drafting our lucky charms in the honor day before of, St. Patty's Day. In honor of St. Patrick's Day, in honor of getting this bad luck off of this club. Oh, hell, I'm last again. We're doing it. All right. All right. Dwayne, in the DMVR oh, man. Rapids. I get to go first. Lucky charms draft. Wow. Okay. Wait a second. Let's go. No, you're right. Let's go. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Remind me to talk about the, the season ticket manager shirt or season ticket member shirt after this. Go ahead. Um, speaking of season ticket member shirt that you are going to talk about. Yeah. Uh, my first lucky charm that I'm drafting to help break the cycle of unluckiness is the lucky four leaf clover. Wow. Are you Irish? I'm going four leaf clover. No. <laughs> I am not Irish. <laughs> I am. I think mine are going to go really off the board compared to your guys's. I don't know. I have a very I have a clear number 1 pick and I'm I hope do it too, gets and there. I'm going to and I know it will last all the way to the third round, but I'm taking it right now. I'm going to go with underwear. Green yeah! underwear. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that yours? Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so sick of you. <laughs> I'm not I picking just, last next time. I, I didn't make the draft board. Yeah, it was yeah, does thing. it again. I'm this not picking last doing. ever again. <laughs> this I'm so doing. pissed. Dude, I, dude, I could have sworn that nobody had this either. I even prefaced it with, I don't think it's going to last. I'm so last sick draft. of this, dude. Oh, Talk about man. bad luck, dude. Dude, 
You're honestly, just like, Clover Kale, it's fine. I, I, <laughs> I did not make this board, by the way, this time it was Dwayne. He chose to. Wow. Sure. All right, so, fine. I did it. So, like, again, I'll take underwear. I think <laughs> there's nothing like a good unwashed pair of underwear that has seen a bunch of winning games. And I think that's just the perfect way to go. Do you guys have lucky underwear or shirt or anything? Or is this more of a conceptual pick? Uh, I actually have a lucky shirt. You have a lucky shirt? What is yeah. it? It's the shirt I asked my wife to marry me. Wow. And oh, that's that's high luck. So I every time there's something coming up, I wear that shirt. It kind of and you know what color it is? Burgundy. Hey. Let's go. To me, it kind of feels like this kind of takes clothes off the board, but we can get into it. But I do have a lucky jersey because I have like probably 15 Broncos jerseys. Yeah. But my Jake Plummer that I got as a kid, it was way too big and it fits now as an adult. Is one hundred percent my lucky jersey. I so I get. Some, I think you, you can take jerseys. I think they're different. Well, the Fox jerseys. They're all different things, in my opinion. What do you think? Well, I'm not taking it now. If it, it, I'm leaving it on the board. Between underwear. No, I know. It just kind of feels like clothing. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> lucky. Lucky. I am taking a horseshoe. A That's horseshoe. A taking the lucky horseshoe. Let's go. That's this a good is, one. Number one. I am very good at the game of horseshoes. Very good. I will beat any of you. I don't care who it is. Uh, <laughs> it is one of the few skills I have in this life. Um, and also, well, actually, that's it. That's the only reason. It's a lucky thing. I don't personally have a lucky horseshoe. I just think it's a very good pick. I think it's high, like, high value. Yep. And leaving it on the board would be a mistake. Horseshoe. Love it. You and get, I get a second pick. Yeah. yeah, you get to go again. Load them up. Damn. I guess I have to go rabbit's foot. Damn it. <laughs> right? I mean, I, those Damn are it. like those are like two bangers, right? I mean, that's like... Those are classic, high-powered, lucky talismans. Yeah, I mean, that's about as lucky as it gets. I might win the lottery if I have those in my pocket. Honestly, that's a really good pick. The Rapids are very lucky right now. All right, I'm not as mad about the underwear charms. pick anymore. Yeah, yeah, Dude, I really... I, I, swore, <laughs> I swore up and down. I'm like, this is unique. <laughs> Nobody's no! What? Oh, yeah, you're the only person who has lucky underwear. Get I out might, I don't even have a pair of lucky underwear. I have a lucky <laughs> shirt. Can't that I wear that. as underwear here and there. <laughs> that you Drafts wear as underwear? Drafts are going to show apart. <laughs> it's, gonna, <laughs> it's definitely has a wedge between me and Midge. That's uh, this one. <laughs> See? <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's it. I don't have anything else to uh, say. It's just I know it's lucky. Do you, Have you guys ever had a rabbit's foot? I guess I do have something to say. I did. You did? Yeah, as a kid, my uncle gave it to me from Mexico. What, did you just have it on like a little keychain? Key chain, yeah, he made it actually. And a fake one. Out of a real rabbit's foot? That is so mm-hmm. Dope, it's dude. unlucky for the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> That's that amazing. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. You're up. Um, I don't know if this is going to be controversial or not. Okay. Well, you're already wearing, you know, bringing underwear to the show. So, so I'm going to use this. Okay. Sage. Sage. I think sage is very lucky. Mm. It cleanses you. Kind of. Shout out, B-Rig. Good to see you, bud. Sage, I think for me, is the way to go on this. I think Sage is just going to be cleansing. It's lucky. It gets you back up and ready to zero again. And zero is usually lucky. It's a good one. I like it. I don't think that's a good one. I disagree. Wow. Are you still mad about yes. getting snaked again? Yes. I didn't right. do it on purpose. I yes, swear. you did. I didn't make the draft for this time. I think you're going to like this one. As you're scrolling through, desperately trying to find <laughs> I'm out, yeah. another lucky item. All right, you ready for this? Uh huh. This is a traditional lucky a symbol of luck, but it's also very, very high concept for the Rapids. Okay. And that is the Lucky Sevens. Whoa. So, again, traditional lucky item, but outside of the back three... And Yarby, how many we got left? Seven. And we're going high press. Whoa. All goals. So you chose the number seven. The Luck one sevens. That was going to be my next one. Ah, that's, well, you have a little bit of time because he has to pick again. I get yep. to go again. All right. Here's my last one. I'm going with, for obvious reasons, the Lucky Penny. Oh, that's great. That's a really good one. Lucky that Penny. That is so good. When uh, my shout out to a superstar my, of the show, Penny. superstar Penny, when my kiddo's with me, we don't lose very often. So, um, she's she's always been good luck at Dick Sporting Goods Park. So, 
We're going with Lucky Penny. Lucky Penny, wow. Hey, Cody, that's a good call. Triple sevens is a hat trick from J. Lou this week. Let's go. Wow. boy, Cody. Really hey, good. Cody, how See, about that Europa this, game today, my guy? This seven is getting spiritual, man. I'm telling you. That's so, a really good call. Oh, my God. Hurry up, Yaya. Dude, I'm trying to think. Um, Running out. I'm going to choose a... Uh, and I'll tell uh, Kel how to spell it afterwards. Uh, no, okay. No, I got one. Oh, you got one. Milagros. Oh, what? Milagros. Milagros? So they're little penance God, you can I make. I can never say things ever. They're little what? Penance that you make in Mexico. Oh, okay. Like the put, tequila? Yeah, yeah. Like the word that's the tequila Yeah, brand? Milagros. Yeah. Milagros? Yeah, yeah. So it's basically, it's a little penance that you can make. And you can put a wish upon it. But you have to, it's like maybe a rabbit's foot, maybe somebody praying, something like that. And it's traditional Mexican that people use. And people give to each other as good luck. Love, Love it. that. So Love it. Going traditional with mine. I am also going traditional, and I'm not going traditional from here at all. I've been lucky enough to travel around. I've spent some time in a lot of cool countries. Uh, I was able to go to Turkey for a little bit in high school. And I am going to take the evil eyes. It's that blue, dark blue with the light blue and the black and the white and the black eye in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Are you familiar right. with this symbol? Yeah. yeah. I think so. So you hang it over doors. You hang it in your house. Yeah. You wear it around your neck to ward off bad luck. Wow. And I think they're super cool. I saw them everywhere. They're on. They're printed in Turkey. They're printed on everything. You buy like a box of tea. There's. It's on the packaging. Yeah. It's like it is everywhere you look. Yeah. Everywhere you look. Um, and so I think the Rapids should all wear one. Under that weird sports bra thing, they'll have to yeah. wear to track them around. Rapids with and some evil eyes on. I like that. Yeah. That should be their new badge. The yeah. Colorado Evil Eyes <laughs> FC. Evil Eyes FC. That is hard. Yeah, Colorado <laughs> Evil Eyes FC. Like, that is dope. hard. Um, I got my new team name. <laughs> all right. We're almost out of here. I did want to ask you guys, and I wanted to do it before this, but we kind of just jumped into the draft. Um, and, and this has kind of come up in a list of just little things that tend to add up and are causing some frustration among the season ticket members. Um, Dwayne, as the only season ticket member <laughs> here, and knowing you, you'll just have some calm, rational. I don't know what you're about take. to put me on the spot for. Um, obviously, the tiered pricing being after the fact into the season. Oh, yeah. You've already pricing. paid. That's yeah, frustrating. Yeah. Sure. And then they announced that for the, the item of the game, this game is a green rapid shirt. It's a clover made out of the crests, right? So it's four rapids crests in green. Correct. And lucky you, season ticket member, you get to pay ten dollars for it. Everyone else pays, I don't know, whatever it is, thirty but, bucks, forty bucks. Whatever. Yeah. So unless you're a first time member, that's when you get your scarf. But outside of that, you don't get a lot of stuff. Am I correct? I've seen some frustration no, that this isn't just a season ticket member handy now yeah you, you don't get a lot of stuff and, and certainly over the years um yeah i mean and we're talking over the years like we're talking like 15 years ago you know you might you might get more things um but you know what with you know losses in the pandemic and all of this stuff like i th i think and i'm not by the way i'm not like supporting this i'm just saying that i'm used to it right of the right. season ticket member Benefits as far as like tangible things being less and less. Um, we did get something this year. Usually we don't get anything, but this year we got that um, uh, scarf badge um, with the Pat Milbury artwork on it, um, which is which is a which is a cool new thing to have. Um, I mean, as far as a T-shirt, like I'm surprised that this is like a. a a thing for people to be angry about it's Kevin. there's usually a um what's up kevin um there's usually um you know merch of the match at, ev at every game anyway um and so i mean this it's it's going to be merch of the match and season ticket members get an added discount sure that's eh, pretty cool i mean if you like that shirt go get it i think it's um, a pretty cool shirt i was thinking you know, about going down at halftime and trying to grab it yeah i mean people were upset about it that they didn't yeah. get it for free i think they're I just get i that. think it's just kind of this piling on of bad performance tiered pricing get dropped you know there's just all this stuff yeah the tiered pricing thing was i think we uh, can actually do a whole thing on that later yeah um, but i think that kind of set yeah. people off um a little bit uh plus we're not winning games and so people there's just 
there's just lots of things that people are finding to be upset about. It's just yes. time to win. Just win. So, you know what fixes everything? Winning. Just yeah. win, baby. Win, baby. Um, win. God, I hate I, that I said that. I hate the Raiders. Um, all right. Last thing. What are you guys doing in two weeks from Saturday? I don't know. You tell me. Do you know what you're doing? Oh, I what? totally know what we're Kevin! doing. Kevin! Super chat! Let's go! Thank you, Kevin. Much Kevin, that is our first Let's go, non-World baby. Cup Super Chat this show has ever received. Shout out to our guy. Kevin says, let's go, baby. That's right. We're picking up that dub. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Shout out to our guy. Um, God, that's awesome. Um, that's the lucky charm right that's there. That's the lucky it's charm it's we need. I'm drafting me. Kevin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Give me Kevin. Um, out of <laughs> Give me two right, Kevin. Two weeks from today. Two weeks from today. No, not today. From Saturday, April 1st. It is the DNVR Rapids takeover, baby. And it is a doozy. It is bus leaving from the DNVR bar. You can watch March Madness games. You can maybe watch some spring training, be hanging out and vibing. Jump on the bus with your brand new free with purchase DNVR scarf. That's a weird thing to say, free with purchase, but... Um, you get a DMVR Rapid scarf. <laughs> if you, you get a DMVR Rapid scarf, it will scarf, be free. Up the pit, <laughs> up the pit scarf. <laughs> up the pit scarf. We're paying your entrance in to the C38 tailgate, and we have a bunch of tickets together. It's going to be a super fun time. Oh, I have something to add to this. Much excite. Go ahead. Speaking of C38 tailgates, they just posted just maybe not oh, even yeah. an hour ago. Fans of the Rapids for years have been clamoring to get one specific tasty treat back in the stadium. Those those cries and, uh, and sadness have fallen huh? upon deaf ears and, and hungry tummies. But C-38 has come to the rescue. The return of the mini donuts Let's go! is happening. C-38, according to what they posted today, got a mini donut maker or machine or however that crap works, and they're bringing the mini donuts back to the So tailgates. basically, what's going to happen at this takeover is you're going to drink beer here. You're Legendary You're going to beer on the bus thanks to Breck Brew. You're going to be wearing your scarf. You're going to show up. You're going to pound a bunch of beers and dogs and mini donuts, and then we're going to go watch the Rapids beat the defending champs. So please, please, guys, if you don't have your tickets, if you want to come hang out with us, yes. we'll all be out here. We're going to have some DNVR. Adam Mar is my hangout. Andres and Monet, Oh, Andres coming. Ryan. Yeah, Andres all in these already. Guys are Spence gonna, is coming. So we're going to have a lot of DNVR people. Maybe Super Producer Kale is going to meet us out there, too. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're trying to make this a big event for everybody, guys. So please, please. And look, if you don't us. have tickets... I know a lot of you have season tickets. I, I, I know like it's not the best audience to pitch this to. It's a bunch of season ticket members. But <laughs> um, tell your friends. Maybe give your season tickets to your friends and come with us on this. It's going to be a super fun time. Um, I also have another thing to plug that is involving in tickets. And kind of why I wore this shirt today. Go Roadrunners. Runners. Well, Metro State, I am in my final semester. I am just applied a, for graduation. I just applied for graduation last night. I am Let's in a go. sport promotion class. And one of the projects is selling Rapids tickets. There we go, dude. So I have graduate. discounted tickets for the Philly game in May. Discounted tickets. If you do not have tickets to the Philly game, shoot me a message on Twitter. Please and thank you. It will help me. And if I sell in the top three of the class, I don't have to take my last final of college. I just don't have to Whoa. take it. Dude, Mitch got to... Dis- well, let's hop out, Mitch. Please, please. Please, let's buy tickets to the Philly game from me. It is And buy your takeover tickets help. from DNVR. Get your DNVR takeover out, tickets now and help out the three of us and super producer Kale over there. Um, I don't know, guys. That's all I got. Should we do a super, super fast round of predictions? Yeah. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. 2-0 Rapids. Rubio and Jack score. Whoa. <laughs> Damn. I am taking a <laughs> leap of a faith here. Ballsy pick. Okay. I am taking a leap of faith. Downtown Dwayne Brown. Uh, like I said, I won't be there, so we are sure to win. Um, let's say three to one Rapids. Goals by two for Yappy. And um, 
I think we're going to see our first like crazy rocket goal from Ronan. There you Keegan. go. I think it's happening. Or Keegan, too. I think Let's it's go. a Ronan one. Come on, Cody. Really, bro? Jesus, you're killing me. But I'm going to choose. He's entitled to his pick. Oh, I know. And we I know. Just need and to get and, some mini and donuts and, that and is Cody. That's super fair. Uh, all right, I'm going to choose. He's not happy about one, it. One. Two, one. And it's Who? a drawing room. Oh. Two, one, drawing. No, yeah. one, two, one. One, oh, one, one, two, one. one. Yeah, I thought okay. you were two, one. I'm like, one, you're mad. One. Weird. One, two, one. It's a drawing room. And Grant Cole Bassett finally gets zero, off zero. his ass and scores a goal. Let's go. Wow. So love there you that. go. I love you, Cole. Love, yeah. <laughs> love you, Cole. Seriously. I hope you don't take it don't take it the wrong way. Um Kale, do you want to jump in on predictions this time? What do you got, uh, I'll take 1-0 Rapids. I think they finally get their goal, and the defense keeps holding up. Minnesota's not very good. Let's go! We're gonna make we're gonna make Kale a Rapids fan. <laughs> we're, we're doing gonna, it. We're gonna make Slowly it but surely. He's taking over Rapids, <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for riding with us today at a weird time. Uh, this East Coast road trips for the spring sports kind of screwed us up. So uh, thank you for rolling with us. Subscribe to everything at DNVR. Get your membership. Get your diehard stuff. Subscribe here on the channel. Hit the thumbs up on your way out, and we will see you next time up the PIDs.